the French Open six weeks away, the entry list has been revealed for the WTA, and there are some really interesting names on this list, and also some really interesting names missing from this list. Let's go have a look at who is actually going to be seeded at this stage. Of course, they will change in the future, but let's go see who the top seeds are. All right, so there you go at the moment. Sviantec and Sabalenka are the one, two, and that could change over the next couple of weeks because, of course, they do have a lot of points to save, especially Sabalenka. She could drop down, which will be really interesting to see her and Goff battle it out over the next couple of weeks for that number two seed. Of course, you've got Von Drusseva there, the Wimbledon champion, will be the number eight seed at this stage. But a big player missing is the number 12 in the world, Mukova. She's pulled out. So she is not even on the entry list, knowing that she's not going to be ready in six weeks' time. So huge out there. Other players you got to watch out for, of course, are the lower seeds. Collins, been in great form. Caroline Garcia, very dangerous as well, of course, on all surfaces. And then the players that just missed out on the seedings for now, but will be trying to fight for those seeds. Players like Fernandez, who will be seeded if she has a couple of good weeks over the next few events. Mira Andreva, also trying to get seeded at this event. If she does have a couple of good tournaments, that could be a reality. Going down the list a little bit further there, you can see Sophia Kennan, former finalist here. Treveson also on the list there as unseated. She is very dangerous on the clay and was really good at the French Open a couple of years ago. And also Bedosa sneaks into the main without having to play qualies or get a wild card. She's at 93 in the world currently, so she has made the entry list as well. Now for the players that are protected, because there are so many players coming in thanks to protected rankings. You've got Kerber, you've got Osaka, you've got Anisimova, and Andrescu, and that's just to name a couple. And the players that missed the cut, Emma Rodokanu, will have to play qualifiers unless she gets a wild card or a lot of players withdraw into this event. So really dangerous position there for Rodokanu. Also Wozniacki and Fruvitova, also in the qualies at the moment. Wozniacki, you'd expect a wild card there. Linda Fruvitova, she has been up the top of the game for the last couple of years. A big name that everyone's talking about. She is now not even on the entry list. So she will have to play qualies unless they do give her a wild card or a lot of players withdraw. So that could be really interesting to see her in the qualies. But man, so many protected rankings. And so many players that are going to be unseated at this event that are going to be really dangerous early on. So there it is. That is the entry list there. And like I said, so many players that coming in with a protected ranking. Of course, Osaka, Kerber being the two big ones. Wozniacki, she hasn't got a protected ranking because she did retire. So she kind of lost that privilege. And she was gone for a couple of years. So that also expired. But man, she's going to have to get a wild card. Also, Rodokanu is going to have to rely on wild cards to get into this event. The qualities could be something else if those players don't get wild cards. But... Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most excited to see at the French Open? I'm excited to see how Osaka does, and also Rodokanu. I think both of them are really interesting, especially being on the clay. Rodokanu playing really well so far on clay. Osaka not really known for clay tennis. Of course, you've got to watch out for the big names as well. But no Mukova in this event, which is a real big shock. And that is the entry list for the French Open, coming up in six weeks' time.